Something a bit different for this video, which will include a joke if you stick around long enough towards the end of the video. And this video can also cover a number of different questions and comments and emails and all sorts of other things that I get pinged with every so often. I say every so often, I get thousands of comments, as you well know, on every single video, and I get hundreds, if not thousands, of emails every single week, many of which are asking for my help, my guidance, and in some cases, flat out free advice. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes I do provide free advice, it's called pro bono work, but those cases are usually fairly few and far between and for the most deserving of applicants, who are usually very heavily discriminated against in one fashion or another. However, typically the vast majority of those that are asking me for free advice don't tend to fall into that category, but they also do tend to be the most confrontational, particularly when I haven't had the opportunity to respond or my clerks haven't had the opportunity to respond and provide a meaningful uh, re response and content to their original question. But one way or another, the blame always lands fairly and squarely with me. Now, just to uh, clarify something else as well. Some people believe that every single lawyer must take every single case that comes along to them, and that's not strictly true. Whilst the bar, as in Barristers of England and Wales, have a rule known as the cab rank rule, meaning that we must take a case if it's coming from a professional client, from a solicitor, if and only if we have the re requisite experience, it's a proper fee, we're available, uh, we are suitable to take the case and all, all the rest of it. So it's got to match a list of criteria. What we can't do, of course, is discriminate unfairly for any reason that is a protected characteristic and we cannot just turn down a case because of our own opinions our own opinions don't matter so those are cast aside and we would take a case whether we believe it or not so i might find myself in on some occasions advising somebody even if i don't personally believe the story that i'm being told because that actually matters not. It's absolutely irrelevant. So very often some people ask, what's my opinion on something? Well, more often than not, and in most cases, in fact, my opinion doesn't matter, which is why I don't give my opinion very often on this channel. One of the reasons that I receive, I'll call them complaint emails. They're not official complaints, but they're complaint emails, are typically when We've been asked for, again, free advice or free guidance or, or whatever, and we either just have refused, haven't had time to respond or didn't even see it. And they very often say that it's just a yes, no answer. They're just after a yes, no answer. And of course, as a lawyer, I will tell you, there is never a straightforward yes, no answer. It is almost always peppered with different bits of information, different questions, different things we need to ask, different things we need to find out about. And only upon finding all those things out, then we know exactly what the situation is and then we can provide what we call advice. Which is why these videos cannot be advice because I haven't had any opportunity to ask you any questions that when you're watching my videos. And therefore, anything that I say on this channel can only be reasonably interpreted as guidance and it says so in the uh, about page on my channel. Now a second reason some people write complaint emails or co complaint comments or complaint whatever is when the author of said comment misunderstands something themselves. Now sometimes other channels will make videos complaining and then some of you guys email me and say someone's complaining about you and whatever. That is almost always with respect because they've misunderstood the law. They will, for example, they will read something and say, ah, that's an act, therefore that's not law. But of course it is law because acts of law are primary legislation. Legislation is law, acts are law. Sometimes people confuse and conflate all these different terms and think that it's meaning something else and that we're being tricky and actually avoiding what they call the truth. But usually it's because someone has misunderstood something, which is relatively straightforward. But having clearly spent so long on it, thinking about it, 
they come to the wrong conclusion. And so I very often get those kind of emails complaining and criticizing because someone else has misunderstood something. Now, I'm never going to step up to some kind of debate about these things because it's not up for debate. I'm certainly not going to appear on someone else's channel because that's just pointless. And like I said, it's not a debate. And I'm not going to name certain channels because I don't want to give certain channels any kind of publicity. I work very hard on my channel to grow this channel here. You can see that I'm away for a few days at the moment, and yet I'm still working, not just by doing videos, but I'm, I'm having meetings, I'm still doing work while I'm here. But I am away and I'm still working. I work very hard to make my channel work and to grow my channel with your help because you subscribe. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. It does help. A lot of people think that it doesn't do anything, but it really does. It helps the algorithm to push my channel to further and wider audiences. And I have noticed that around 60% of you that watch this channel on a regular basis are not subscribed. So if I could just interject by saying, please do that now and hit the like button and the bell icon while you're at it. So as promised, so that it's not clickbait, um, a little joke to sum up this situation of blame, which is, I think, what we're coming to. We come to a situation of blame. So here it is. Now, I didn't make this joke up and I can't remember where it came from. If someone f finds it, remembers it, um, tell me and I will link the credit in the description below. But uh, for the avoidance of doubt, I heard this somewhere and I can't remember for, for the life of me where I heard it, but I'm happy to link it whenever I do find it. So there's a man in a hot air balloon and he's a bit lost. So he goes over some local fields and he sees a man in the field. So he decides to land this hot air balloon in the field to ask this man in the field whether he knows where he is or not. So he lands in the field and he goes up to this man and he says, I wonder if you can help me. I'm lost. Can you tell me where I am? The guy in the field says, yes, uh, you've landed your hot air balloon in a field. You're in the middle of a field. Guy in the hot air balloon says, right, you must be a lawyer. The other guy says, why do you say that? He said, because everything you've told me is technically correct. And yet I'm still in the same place and I'm still no better off than I was before. And so the lawyer says, ah, right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. But in that case, you must be a manager. He said, well, yes. How do you know that? He said, well, all you've done is ask me a question. I've given you a straightforward and factual answer and I've only met you for five minutes and already you're blaming me for your problems. So I don't know whether that joke started out as lawyer, manager or whatever. I, I guess it's had various permutations over the years. But this was just a bit of a off the wall kind of video just to say that I get lots of these comments. I get lots of these questions. If I don't respond to your comment and your question and your email, it's because I get thousands of them. Just take a look at the comment section on every single video that I do, which is at least one a day, if not two or three a day. And there are thousands of these comments and questions. Uh, you can multiply that with emails and DMs all over the place. I just don't get time to see them all. And if I don't, even if I get time to see them all, I don't necessarily get time to read what I need to, to give you a comprehensive reply. And sometimes even if I were to give you a comprehensive reply, I would have to caveat that with it's not legal advice. And even then you might still take it as such, but I'm always clear that everything I give on here is not legal advice. But that's why if you send me comments and questions and in some cases complaints, that's why I don't reply to them. And that's how our, why our clerks don't always reply to them because we just don't have the time all the time to reply to so many of these things. But I thought, you I thought you'd find that interesting. Please remember to like this video and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.